Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to your tarot reading. This is a reading themed the things that are destined for you and we'll use a couple of decks to see what's coming up in your destiny, uh, what may be uh, coming up for you, what you may be encountering in your life. Uh, this can be in any area. Any sort of message that pops up in the cards will be relayed to you. So please keep an open mind when embracing these messages. If you'd like a private reading with me, please feel free to email me. Um, otherwise, don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up uh, and also subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your element or for your signs. So let's give the cards a good shuffle and see what's coming up. What's destined for you, Cancer? I definitely feel there's a lot of surprises coming in around you. Uh, you've got the marriage cards, so there's a destined uh, relationship that will turn into marriage, uh, or you're destined to become married and live in that role. Um, there's a celebration of love here, so in terms of love, it looks absolutely wonderful. There's lots of surprises in store that you won't see coming, I feel, with the Eight of Swords. A powerful theme of um, life is going to be full of surprises, so things are going to be very unpredictable. You may end up with a person who is very unpredictable and keeps you on your toes, keeps things exciting and, and different. Um, but I also feel with the death card, uh, it can there, there can be a destined Scorpio coming up um, who's destined to play a key role in your life. Um, the death card can also be some sort of big change or transformation that you're destined to encounter fairly soon. It can also be the past that's coming back in. So you're destined to connect with your past somehow. Um, you may go back to live where you grow up. You may end up marrying your ex. Uh, you may end up, you know, throwing away an industry, a career that you've been working in um, and leaving that behind and, and, and working somewhere else. Uh, sorry, working somewhere where you thought you'd worked. You could be destined to work in the legal realm or somehow destined to be tied up into legal settlements and, uh, and things of that nature here. You've got the King of Taurus, uh, King of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. Taurus energy brings success, love, romance. So you're destined to have a very romantic or very intimate um, and sexually active marriage or relationship. Um, you're also uh, destined to have a lot of romance in your lifetime. Uh, but interestingly, the King of Pentacles is also money and wealth. Uh, so it could be that you're destined to either work with money, work with finance, uh, or come into quite a bit of money in your lifetime, money that you'll hang on to very well here with the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel the Four of Pentacles is indicating you are destined to live quite a private life. Um, you'll keep things quite private, uh, albeit your way of living, albeit things happening in your personal life. You could end up having a very private relationship or private marriage. Um, you're going to hold on to things in life, which is really fantastic. When we see the Four of Pentacles, it is about holding on to things, savoring things. So it's almost like the things that you value most, you're going to see the value in them and you're going to cling to them and hold on to them, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I feel like with the Three of Wands, things that you're planning for uh, that you feel are in your long-term future, say where you want to be in 5, 10, 20 years time, it's almost like it's destined to happen here for you. The Three of Wands can also be adventure or living abroad or doing lots of traveling. So that could be in the cards here for you. Um, but I think with the Three of Wands, you'll have a lot of options. You're destined to have a lot of options in love, in life, in work, in career. This is really speaking about abundance here. But I feel like with the Justice card, you lead a very fair life um, or you'll have things very fair on your part, a fair relationship, a fair amount of money. You know, Justice energy is almost like you'll receive what you give. And karma seems to be a big theme here for you, Cancer. So I feel what I see in the cards is that you will get back what you give. Um, in terms of money, in terms of effort, in terms of resources, in terms of love. I feel you're destined to get that back to you. Um, now, Libra energy is also, it can symbolize a relationship because it's like your counterpart. So for a lot of you, you're destined to meet your soulmate this lifetime. You're destined to meet your partner in crime, the person that you can't be without, the person that you love, the person that will um, be your other half, so to speak. 
and you're destined to meet this person this lifetime. So that's, you know, very, very fantastic. Um, I also get ambition. So you're supposed to be very ambitious towards something that you want, albeit love, career, money, health, finance, whatever it is. Um, there's a lot of ambition that's coming up around you. Now, A, this could indicate that you're very ambitious, you're destined to be because it's going to get you places and you're going to reap those rewards, especially in the physical realm. The cards would indicate that you're destined to live a comfortable life, maybe coming into a bit of money or connecting with someone who is quite wealthy. But I feel with the King of Pentacles, um, there's also like a stubbornness or a drive. So it could be that um, you may work with people to help promote or motivate them, help them become successful or driven. You may be, you may go into coaching or leading or instructing um, or mentorship or training because that's something you you're, you're, you might be destined to do because you do that role so effortlessly. And it could be that because you do have such a benevolent energy to you, you know, you're very kind, you're very helpful and you're very inspiring, very encouraging. Uh, and this, I feel you're going to transfer these skills and use these skills because this is something you're destined to do in this lifetime. So if there's anything out there that sort of crosses your mind that you wish to sort of coach people on or lead them or mentor them on, um, that could very well be something that's destined to come in your path, okay? The death card can also be loss. I do want to mention loss. Loss comes in many forms, whether it's a marriage, a relationship, a person. So there may be a big loss that you're destined to encounter in your lifetime. And because loss is this loss is uh, associated with change and growth and new life, um, it could indicate that you're destined to lose something very important something so, or someone very important to you. But you're going to gain something equally as important thereafter. So not all losses are bad. Some losses need to happen, but it can indicate that there is something here that you are, you will lose. You will lose in your life, um, and it's just part of cutting ties. Um, notice the blade here on the snake. Now the snake can indicate like deceit, deception, addiction. So for some of you, you're destined to cut ties with toxic people, toxic substances, toxic lifestyles, toxic thoughts. So I really feel like you're destined to cut ties with something that's governed your life. It could even be like cutting ties with family, cutting ties with people that you've known or, or, or people you've grown up with or you've had some sort of association with for X amount of years. And it could be that in your future, you're destined to cut ties with that um, and move on and create this sort of new life with yourself. I also feel like with the death card, it's like second chances. You're destined to receive second chances in a lot of areas of your life. So just know that you have that sort of reassurance uh, and backing from the universe. So really, that's that's quite um, quite helpful here. But I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I do appreciate you tuning in, Cancer. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again and bye for now.